Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here in Burnham ahead of the Magnificent Seven Rides Again card. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Sol Dakers. Uh, not on this card anymore, but uh, yeah, here to support Joe. Yeah, support Joe, watch the fight and, and watch all the fights on the, on the card. Obviously, hometown, big show. So yeah, just, just get myself still involved in the atmosphere sort of thing and, and get myself uh, down the show. Yeah, obviously same management stable as Joe Joyce. Looking forward to seeing him get back out tomorrow night. Hopefully back to winning ways and straight back in that heavyweight mix. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to, to watch Joe Joe fight. I've been sparring him the last few weeks and uh, looking looking to see how he, how he does in there. And I think he's he's going to be um, very strong and, and put a good performance in. Yeah. Um. Moving on to yourself, just speaking to some of the boys at S Jam, they tell me that maybe April May time you're looking to get out. Is that all right? Yeah, as soon as possible. Like I said, I was supposed to be on this card, so I was, I was ready to go now. Um, you know, I've, I've made sure I've got myself training properly, you know, got a good, good, good training camp under my belt. Should be April, I'm, I'm hearing. And uh, yeah, just get myself straight back out there and get myself climbing the ladder. Has it been frustrating for you the past kind of four or five months since the first Magnificent Seven, your first fight with Queensbury? Because I know for so long I remember talking to you in Birmingham, you just want the big, big fights and they haven't come yet. Yeah, exactly that. But, you know, I've just got to keep my head down. Hopefully, from what I'm hearing, this year we, sh we should have those things on the radar as long as we can get the, um, the opponents in the ring, which is what we're looking for, and, and get myself into that British title uh, mix very soon. Yeah, British title is obviously being contested by Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark. That's going down in two weeks. So the winner of that one you're going to be calling out? Yeah, I, I want the winner of that one. That's, that's already the plan. So that's the plan. I want to get in there anyway. I wanted Wardley anyway. I was there in Saudi when, when Wardley beat Adelaide. I wanted Wardley then. And now, you know, he's gone, gone for Fraser Clark. I want, I want the winner of that one as well. I want the British title at the end of the day. Have you got a preference? Who wins that fight? No, not at all. No preference, really. I'll just, I want the title. I want the winner. You know what I mean? I want to just beat whoever's better. I, my preference is whoever's better and wins. That's your one. Do you think they know, or from their point of view, you could be kind of a little bit of a bogeyman, a bit difficult, and that's why you aren't being as spoken about as much as, you know, the Fabio, the Wardleys and Adelaide before that? Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt about it, because, you know, I'm a tricky man to beat. My last performance wasn't great, but it was on short notice. Scrub that one off, um, you know, got the win, that's the main thing. But they know I'm a tricky, hard man to beat. They know, like, it's a big risk fighting me. But at the end of the day, it's boxing. You got to fight, fight these guys, and you know I want to take over and put myself in in the position that they're getting themselves in. I want to show that I'm the best. I'm the best team in Britain. I should be the British champion. You know, put me where I should be. If the winner isn't an option for that fight, and they move on to maybe like a world title ranked fight or something along those lines, would you look down a potential Adelaide route? I know that was rumoured for earlier on in the year, maybe even for this card. I mean, that was, it was supposed to be for this card for, yeah. versus Adelaide, and we was all ready for that. And from what I'm hearing, you know, the, the, his side wasn't ready. Now I'm hearing it, hopefully it should be Adelaide in April. So that, that's the fight we're looking for next is Adelaide. So I'm hoping that his fight gets made because I'm ready to go. We give him two dates. The dates are right there. It's in his hands, in his team's hands. Want it or not, let's go. Is there any kind of problems, beef between you and David Adelaide? I don't know the guy. I don't. I don't really think about these, yeah. these guys in boxing outside of boxing. I'm not really bothered about them. You know what I mean. But you know, let's get the fight made. It's, it's just a fight that makes sense. Do you want to show that you you know you, you can get back in sort of some sort of mix, or do you want to just take your loss and fight a few journeymen and build your confidence? And for me, just get myself back up the ladder, put myself above these guys, and get, get myself titles. Are you confident Adelaide takes that fight? No, I'm not. I'm not because it was here, it was here for this weekend and it weren't taken. So, and I'm not. I'm, what I'm hearing is is a bit iffy. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm hoping that he does because it's a good fight and it's something that you know it's going to help me prepare my career and it's something that you can you know, both get up for. I know you're at two different stages of your career, but at the end of last year, I spoke to Moses Atoma and uh, yeah, he's. He kind of had some choice words about yourself. He was uh, calling you trash and uh, separated yourself from the likes of the other British heavyweights we've already spoken about. Feelings towards that? 
don't know the kid, don't don't care about the kid. You know, he's a young kid. He probably thinks thinks more than he knows. You know, he's only young. He's he's not probably quite mature. He's probably thinking th thinking too much about things that that no one really cares about. So I don't know him. I don't care about him. Excellent. So thank you very much for being to IFL TV. And yeah, hopefully we get this fight announced with you and David Adelaide very soon. And I'm sure I'll catch up with you then. Cheers, mate. Yeah, hopefully, man. I'll see you soon, man. Cheers, Sol. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.